Hello again. This is my third tutorial on working with Python for Bioinformatics Absolute Beginners course. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about types of errors and how to deal with them in Python 3. So there are two main types of errors in Python generally to deal with, especially when you have your code written and you don't know what you have done wrong. The first type is called syntax error. So this is called syntax error in which you have a mistake in the way that you wrote the code. The second type of error is called semantics error in which the meaning or the interpretation of your code doesn't give you the appropriate results or the results is not as what you'd like. Let's start with the first one, which is the syntax error. There are several types of syntax errors or types or kinds of errors that you can run into and I'm going to specify certain one of them here. The first one is when you have mistakenly written an argument. For example, you have a print function and you wrote down something in it but you forgot to close the parentheses or you forgot to close the quotation. If we forget to close the quotation mark here, it wouldn't run properly. So it will tell you that there is an error here. So in order to correct this, you just have to check for the quotation marks at the end and the beginning of your code. Now it works fine. Another type is when you write the name of the function wrong. So if the name of your function is written wrong, it tells you that there is an error. Well, it tells you that there is a name error. This is quite important because if the name is written wrong or if it's not declared, so we wrote print instead of print and it tells you name print is not defined. So it means that the name of the function that you wrote is not recognized by Python. This is also easy to deal with. You just have to scan for errors in writing the name of the functions that you are going to use. The third type of syntax error is when a code block is broken in somewhere wrong or in a wrong place. So let's say you write down print something, then you follow it with the next line, but this bracket is not right. You shouldn't write it this way. Well, Python doesn't recognize the second code or the second line of code. It tells you that there is a string literal. There's a problem here because there's a breakage. This can be corrected in several way. The best and easiest way of correcting this is to simply bring it back to its original position and it works fine. Or you can tackle it using docstring, but this is a more advanced aspect using docstring. I'll cover it later on in the course. Last one that I'm going to talk about here is when you forget an important aspect of your code. So you write down for i in let's say this one, then you start to write down print i, the next line of code, but you forget something important which is the colon here. So if you forget this colon it tells you that there is an invalid syntax, so the syntax is not right. So you have to write colon here in order to avoid this syntax error. So to correct this you just bring back the colon and it's fine. You can also write down and equals to oh, empty string and it gives you a DNA sequence as it is. The second types of error is called, or the second category of error is called semantic error. Here the error is a bit more difficult to find out and work on. So if you have an ever ending loop and you don't know what's going on, you are in a semantic error problem. So let's say for i in range 1 to 1 million, let's say. In this range, you write down while i is greater than 1, print i. So this is a loop. When you run this, it runs forever, like it takes you forever to get to the end and it damages your computer, your processor. So you have to stop it immediately, otherwise you are in trouble. So you have to avoid these kind of loops in order to avoid these kind of mistakes. 
Also, when you have a misconception in your code, this is quite important for biological computation and computational analysis in biological data. So if you write down for i in, let's say, a DNA sequence that you have, this is a sequence of DNA, if i is equal to adenine, then print thymine. So you may want to develop a code that can do some kind of transition and transform adenines to thymine, like in the way of creating reverse complement or writing reverse of a code or of a DNA sequence, whatever. Here, for reverse complementation, you would need some kind of transitions between adenine and thymine and so on. If you have this kind of code, it looks fine, but the output is nothing. The reason is your DNA sequence that was used as a dummy input does not contain adenine. So there is nothing wrong with the syntax, but the way that you feed the data into the loop is wrong. So you have to double check for these kind of simple errors. The last type of semantic error for beginners is mistaken updates in your code. So sometimes you write down your declared variables, like you have this, and you write your codes and loops and etc. You write functions, then you write the name of the same variable at the end and you update it, but you don't know that you have the same variable above. This kind of update is problematic. Python deals with the last update. This is the last update that we have here. This one here is the last update and Python just shows you the last update in the print statements. So you have to be really careful about the naming of your variables in order to avoid this kind of errors. This falls into the semantic error types because you may not find out what's wrong, especially when you write thousands of code. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture and learned something about errors and how to deal with errors. We'll talk more about errors and types of errors and dealing with errors in the next coming courses. Thank you.